In this video, we're going to review all the options you have under settings when you're a team. So first thing to understand is when you come to settings in the system, if you don't select a team, you're not going to get all the options. So when I select a team, notice you're going to get new features that weren't here if you just go directly to settings. So first thing is you've got your option to add an admin, which we made a video on. So if you need to know how to do that, check out our other videos. You're also going to have the options here. Um, for contacts, this is all normal. Sales pipeline is going to add team permissions. This is related to do you want people on your team to create their own opportunities or do you want all opportunities to originate from this team view? So it's defaulted now back to yes, all team members can create private opportunities within our market center, meaning they can create their own opportunity. You'll still have access to see it, but it's their ability to create their own versus you having to initiate it and then assign it to them. If you don't want that to happen and you want every opportunity to come from the team originally, you would select this no option. This would mean they cannot create their own opportunity and all opportunities have to be originated in the Rainmakers account and shared. Or you can select specific agents to do that too and allow others to be able to create their own opportunities. So we'll leave it on the default. Under Opportunity Archive, nothing different here. Now team management, this tool is really made for expansion to add multiple teams and say, hey, we have an expansion team in this area and that area. It's a little more advanced. Most of you, the team management side of adding buyers and admins to your team that are in the KDB system are done by the MCA right now. Eventually, we'll come here to be able to use this for other things and creating an opportunity to manage your own team. For now, this is really for expansion. You can ignore it. Opportunity settings, nothing special here. Agent sites, we're gonna start creating our own websites and the big thing here will be team data. So when the new websites come out, do you want a page that says, hey, get to know our team with the ability to have a link pointing to the team members? So this is something that will be only in effect once the new websites come out. In my testing, I haven't found access to see other people on my team just yet. So it doesn't show up on the neighborhood landing pages. However, this is you beginning to say, hey, here's to learn about the team and who is on my team. Nothing new under import route logs. However, lead routing will be new. So you're going to see some things here about route settings where you can create a new strategy around when do you want the lead to be collected? Do you want a round robin where it goes in order of this person, that person, and that person? Do you want it weighted where your top agents on the team might get more leads than someone who might be new? First come, first serve is whoever gets it first. It's kind of the jump ball effect. Um, they used to have that term in here. You can make it so it always happens this way or customize it for specific times. So I've already done a couple of these. I'm going to have the option to create a route then with that. So the route's going to be, hey, where do you want this lead to come from? Let's just say it's realtor.com. And what if I'm going to choose this round robin effect where it just goes in order all days, all times. I can select specific agents to turn them on or off, which is already here. Next, what is the capture rule? I want you to respond within 15 minutes, four, four hours, finish. And just like that, you created a new lead route when the realtor.com leads come in. So I'm not going to leave that there. Um, route settings and then team stats. This will tell you who's on the team, how many leads were given and captured, and if any were assigned. So this is only related to did you set up the lead routing and what happened and the statistics around that. Your marketing profile is still just for you. However, you can put in your information about the team here. So you want to make sure you've got your team name. You're going to make sure you've got information in here and biography about the team. Fill in all your information, your logos, and everything that you need. Your mobile app. They've added these new options now for Facebook Pixel and Google Ads. That's brand new. And that is it. So this is how you're going to manage all the settings under your team. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, follow me on KB Connect today.